Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Yesterday was Microsoft Excel's 40th birthday. And I would have completely missed it if one of my moderators, Kevin, didn't post about it on my website in the captain's log. So thank you, Kevin. And I figured today, let's do a video about 13 weird stories, bugs, and trivia from the undisputed spreadsheet king, Microsoft Excel. Number one, Excel's got a leap year bug. Excel thinks February 29th, 1900 existed, but it did not. Microsoft left the bug in to stay compatible with Lotus 123, and that means that all dates after that point are shifted by one day from actual history. Number two, older versions of Excel had secret games like Hall of Tortured Souls, a flight simulator, and Dev Hunter. They were later removed for security and size reasons and because I wasted too much time playing them. Number three, Excel first appeared on the Mac in 1985. So I wasn't using it. <laughs> I haven't touched a Mac since then. Uh, the Windows version came two years later in 1987. I think I personally started using Excel around 1994 because it was Access 2.0. So that would have lined up with Excel version 5 and Word version 6, which was right before Windows 95 came out and then they had Office 95 and that's when it really started getting popular. But uh, yeah, I think Excel 5.0 was my first version. Before that, I was a Lotus 123 and Word Perfect fan myself. So number four, Excel almost had some other names. Mr. Spreadsheet, that would have been good. Master Plan and codenamed Odyssey. I don't know, Mr. Spreadsheet might have been fun. I wonder what Mr. Excel has to say about that. <laughs> Number five, Excel 3.0 in 1990 was one of the first programs to feature a toolbar with clickable icons, which later became standard in most software. I did not know that. Number six, modern Excel supports over a million rows and over 16,000 columns. Over 16 billion, with a B, cells per sheet. Older versions had only 65,000 rows and 256 columns, which will cause a major problem that we'll talk about later. Number seven, Excel is Turing complete, the Turing test. Uh, with the lambda function, Excel can define recursive formulas, making it powerful enough to compute anything in theory. And I've got a video coming out on the lambda function pretty soon. Here's a cool one, number eight, the camera tool. Excel has a hidden camera feature that takes a live picture of a range of cells and the picture updates automatically if the source cells change. Here's a little sample, for example. I got another video coming out on this one soon too. Like you could take this range of cells right here and then create a camera image of it. And if this stuff changes, this stuff changes, including anything that lays over it. This is great if you got a really complicated workbook with lots of sheets because you can make snapshots that just show you what's in different spots, including your charts and graphs and all that neat stuff. Again, a video on this one's coming up. Number nine, a single cell in Excel can be referenced by up to 4 billion dependent formulas. That shows how huge spreadsheets can scale. And if your spreadsheet's that big, you got issues. I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 10, backward compatibility. Excel can still open very old files, often keeping formulas and macros working decades later. I got some old spreadsheets that I know I've upgraded from the early, early 90s days, so they're still kicking. Number 11, here's an interesting one. Genes turned into dates. Excel converts names like SEPT2 or March 1 into dates. This caused mistakes in thousands of scientific papers. Microsoft added an option recently to turn that off. This was pretty cool. I had to ask ChatGPT to give me some more details on this one, but certain genes like Septin2 or membrane associated, whatever this is, get abbreviated this way in scientific papers. And so Excel's trying to be happy and, and helpful and it, it just it changes them into dates for you. So there's thousands of papers that Excel converted them over. That's not good. <laughs> Number 12, Excel, X, in, Excel, X, <laughs> Excel inspired the mouse wheel. Uh, this guy, Eric, was credited with inventing the mouse scroll wheel and said the idea came from watching Excel users struggle with big sheets. I get it. That's I can see that. And big documents. Number 13, real world spreadsheet disasters. Excel mistakes have caused huge problems in government and finance. 
from lost data to false reports that spread worldwide. For example, some epidemiologists estimate that Excel errors may have contributed to more than 1,500 excess COVID deaths. And here's a page down here that's got a lot more information. And basically on this COVID one, uh, Public Health England was still using an older Excel format with a hard limit of 65,000 rows, like I mentioned earlier. And they were storing test results in spreadsheets. And when the file filled up, about 16,000 positive cases were cut off, which meant that thousands of people who should have been traced were not. And some estimates say that it could have contributed to more than 1,500 deaths. This is a perfect example of why you should never use Excel for very large data sets. That's the job for Microsoft Access or a proper database system. Don't use Excel for storing large bits of data. If your spreadsheet gets over like more than a couple hundred rows, it's time for a database. So there you go. There's 13 weird stories, bugs, and trivia from Microsoft Excel. Happy birthday, Excel. And thanks again to Kevin for bringing this to my attention. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. See you next time. I'm excited to announce that I'm creating a brand new series of lessons focused on programming in Microsoft Excel VBA. If you've been looking to take your Excel skills to the next level and learn how to automate tasks, write custom macros, and unleash the full power of Excel VBA, these lessons are for you. Sign up now on my website at the link shown. You'll find a copy in the description down below the video window, and I'll send you more information on this exciting new series. If you'd like to see me make more Excel tech help videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past three decades or so. However, I love Excel and I'm more than happy to make more videos for Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all the other topics that I teach. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard and let me know you want more Excel videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you have down below. I do my best to read them all as soon as I can. And also, be sure to share this video with that person in the office that always asks you Excel questions. Or, you know, that family member, mom, when she calls you and says, hey, I can't do this. Well, send her a copy of one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Just click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when I post new videos. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, Click the join button down below and you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos and one free beginner lesson every month. Gold members get access to download all the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and a free expert level Excel course once a month after finishing the beginner lessons. And Platinum members get access to all of the previous perks plus all of my full beginner courses and one new developer course every month after finishing the expert levels. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for the links, click where it says show more down below the video window. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other related videos, other information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when I post new videos, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's absolutely free. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And like I said before, even if you don't need it, I'm sure you know someone that does. That person that always is asking you Excel questions, well, send them this link. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. And if you like those, come to my website and I've got tons more lessons for all levels. I cover everything from the basics all the way up to advanced functions and more. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum, post any questions you have and join in the conversation. As always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.